talk about the invitation to the throne of God. This is about the invitation to the throne of God, okay? I, I can think about one interesting thought when uh, the gentleman was trying to cast out devils. Uh, the, the, the disciples were trying to cast out devils. And uh, the disciples couldn't do it. And they came and they said uh, it was because it was Jesus said because it's unbelief. Says you could do it if you had if you had belief. They didn't have faith. They didn't have the belief. And then, and then the, the, the dad, and Jesus came and said to the dad, "Do you think I can do this?" And he says, "He says, um, he said, do you believe?" And he says, "He says, Lord, help my belief, unbelief. You know, he says, I'm not going to lie to you. That's where I really am. You know, my unbelief is really, really where I am." And he said, instead of saying uh, yes, just to get the miracle, he didn't lie. He just said, "Lord." I don't know how to believe. I, I want to believe. That's my heart. I'm trying to believe. And he said, according to your faith. <laughs> he did it anyway. And he did it anyway. He said, help my own belief because he's real. You know, and then there's a gentleman in the, in the, in the temple. And he's, and he's pounding on his chest saying, I'm a sinner. And then there's another guy saying, I'm glad I'm not like that guy. One guy was trying to like be, be something and, and, and glorify himself. The other guy was trying to be real there. So you can you can see what this means. It's like Jesus was preaching about something that was going on before Jesus was on earth, before he was even uh, preaching, before he was even making known. It was in the temple. They were still waiting for the Messiah. And God is still merciful. God is still gracious. God is still res ready to resurrect souls. You know, he, he raised from the, the dead. And the, the, he died on the cross and then he raised from the dead and all these other people come out of their graves. I mean, that was the, that was the, that was the pinnacle, praise the Lord. But it doesn't mean that there was not um, mercy before that. You know, it was like, yes, you're going to have to wait for the, for the, for the resurrection of the, of the Son of God. But yes, mercy is bestowed to you because you are getting real with God. You are being real with Him. You can pray where you're at. There's an invitation to the throne of grace for those who will be real. And so you only have to, you don't have to say, God, I, I, I've got this, this stuff situated. I've got it. You'd be far better off to have some funky issues going on in your life and then to talk real and let God do it. Let God do it. It's like, God, I, can you please do something? I, I, I've tried my way. I've tried to, to sort it out. I've tried to put that over there. I've tried to hold my hand over here and try to make it happen, Lord God, to make it look right in your sight. And I feel like it's my strength and it's not helping. It's, not, it's my striving. And I said, Lord, can you just help me with this one? If this is supposed to be here, make it stay. If it's not supposed to be there, make it go. Help my unbelief. invitation and that is God's invitation since day one his mercy endures forever his mercy endures forever there is an invitation to the throne of God and he says come boldly <laughs> come boldly for those who have an attitude of reality if you don't feel like you've got belief say help my unbelief this thing. My eyes are crossed with blindness. I've been trying
I'm just gonna come, I'm just gonna say I'm coming, and hopefully that's good enough, because that's all I've got. And may that mercy that you say endure forever meet me where I'm at. And pull me out of this muck and mire. You did it. One day, the big, the big transformation, the big day I passed from death into life and said, Heavenly Father. Jesus made it right. Hallelujah.